How to create optimized SEO titles and descriptions for Yoast SEO plugin. Hey, my name is Mike, and in this video, as I just mentioned, I'm going to show you how to create or write better, more optimized SEO titles and descriptions for SEO plugins like Yoast SEO and All in One SEO and such. What are SEO titles and descriptions, you might ask? If you don't know, let's go to a search I did right here. If you do a search online on Google, most likely, the search results here, the blue links you see are what are called the SEO titles. Right here, is, for example, is a post that I did several years ago. I didn't do much to optimize this besides the SEO titles and description, but it's still on the front page of Google. How to customize the 2014 theme without a plugin is my SEO title. This text right here after the date, that is the meta description. So how do you get this stuff to show in the search results? Well, if you're using WordPress, and I'm assuming you are because you're watching this video, there are several plugins that you can use, quite a few plugins actually, that will, the main purpose of those plugins is to help you insert SEO titles and meta descriptions for your pages and posts on your website. And this is a, an example site that I did to demonstrate to, for demonstration purposes in this video and I'm using the SEO plugin Yoast SEO plugin I have it installed and this is the default SEO title for the home page of this fictitious business I wrote something up to use for our SEO titles I'll go ahead and find it here here's what I wrote for the home page SEO title I used their business name and I used a geographical refer reference to Seattle which is where they're supposed to be located in so freedom chiropractic voted best seattle chiropractic and massage therapy clinic so i would go ahead and paste this into the seo title section right here from the yoast seo plugin will show you if you're using too many characters or not by showing you if you're in the green if you have too few they might, you might want to stick some more in there but if we go over it like add a few more then it's going to go on to the red if i get to a certain point here well, it should have gone in the red already. <laughs> What's going on here, guys? What's going on, Yoast? Well, it should have gone in the red because I used too many characters, but we'll just skip that for now. All right, so for a meta description, the text below the SEO title you'd see in the search results. I'll go ahead and stick something else in there that I wrote up. Here's the meta description I wrote for our fictitious homepage. Chiropractic can help. At Freedom Chiropractic, we're here for you, offering award-winning care. Give us a call to schedule an appointment. I put a reference in there to chiropractic, but mainly, and I also they're branded their business name, but mainly a lot of times in the homepage, anyway, of the meta description, you're just trying to entice people to click on your link. Now, you can put keywords in there and such, and I'll show you in just a minute what I'm talking about. But this is the home page. We're mainly concerned with putting their business name in there and perhaps their business type, which is right there. Okay, that is our home page SEO title and meta description. The slug and the SEO title, the slug, I should say, is just what comes after the forward slash, the dot com forward slash, and your home page won't have a slug. Let's check out another page and configure there the SEO title and description for that page. Let's see right here. No, that's not the one I want. Right here. Okay, chiropractic services. So here's our services page. And right now it just has the page title right here as the default SEO title for the Yoast setup right here. If I click on it, then I can use it like it shows right here. It's too short. I can add some more text here for SEO title. I wrote something up. I, came, I did a little research, of course, and here's some keywords that I was hoping to get, get mentioned for my chiropractic services. So I combined them all into kind of an SEO title that would read halfway decent with a geographical reference, Seattle, Washington, which is where our business is supposed to be located, chiropractic manipulation, massage therapy, exercise, rehabilitation, neck, back, pain relief. All those were keywords that I found when doing some keyword research plus Seattle, Washington right there. All right, we'll go to 
back to the Yoast SEO setup right here for this page. Paste that in for our SEO title right here. And for the slug for this page, I would just use services because I like to keep the slugs in, in certain pages anyway, like services anyway. You keep it as short as possible. So that would be right here. You see it, dot com forward slash services. That's your slug. Meta description. Let's paste in our meta description. Now in this meta description, I make sure to mention the business name Freedom Chiropractic and specializes in spinal adjustments, which is another uh, way of saying chiropractic manipulation, massage therapy, and exercise rehabilitation programs for neck, back, and pain relief. Seattle Chiropractor. I put a geographical plus business type reference in there too. And that's a good thing to do for local business types. Mention your business type and your location. So, oh, and we went over the limit there. What can I take out to go keep within the limits? How about if I take out the and and use the symbol for it? If we let's us do that. There we go. So that is our meta description for our services page. So the main point to, to take in note here is this is a services page. So I did some keyword research and I put in a, I'll go back to my Word document so you can see it more clearly. I did some research, first of all, some different services that we offer as our chiropractic services and what, what the keywords could possibly be. And for the SEO title, I did stick in some different services, all this stuff right here, massage therapy, chiropractic, manipulation, exercise, rehabilitation, neck, back, pain relief in Seattle. Meta description, of course, I put their brand name, and then I tried to make it read uh, to entice people to click on the link, besides mentioning the keywords we want to, you know, our services that we wanted to mention. Now, as far as the page title itself, if you were writing a blog post, you could consider something like, the top three reasons you should consider using iChiropractic services, then link back to the services page in that blog post. For the actual page itself, if you're trying to contain all this information on one page, I'll show you the page now. Let's go back up to the page. In fact, we'll just view the page right here and I'll show you what I mean. Here is the the sample page I made are keywords right here, and I'm using what are called H1 tags. You can also use H2, but I'm actually using H1 tags for all these different services. So I put the service, the keyword, the service type right here, and then I, you know, typed up 200 to 400, 200, 300 uh, words in here to describe the services, or maybe not quite that much on some of these, but here's another keyword, H1 tags, massage therapy. This is all on our services page right here. Low-level therapy, laser therapy, some words describing that service too. And if you really wanted to get into it, you could actually just list, have a article, like I said, listing the various services in your business, and then have links to all these different uh, separate pages for all these different services. But we didn't quite go all that overboard with this page here. So I think that's probably enough for this video. Hopefully you found this information helpful. If you do have more questions or comments, go ahead and stick a comment below the video in the video, video comment section, or you can send me an email at, at my website, wphowtos.com. So as always, keep on keeping on and keep on smiling.